Author and columnist Mark Stein is a praying man, and he joins us tonight to assess what we've just learned from Nancy Pelosi. Mark Stein, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to make of, of that. That, but, well, that was a press conference today, by the way, we should note for our yeah. viewers. What do you make of that? Well, I think, actually, in a sense, she does believe in divine intervention. They were let down by Bob Mueller, who was the nearest thing to Jesus to walk on the face of this earth for the Democrats until he actually uh, issued his report. Uh, they've been let down by judges, and now they're putting their faith in the big guy himself. And when she says uh, she wants an intervention, basically she wants God to send uh, Moses uh, back down with a brand new tablet on which the 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution is inscribed <laughs> and that Moses will then persuade uh, uh, everybody else that it's time for Trump to be deposed from office. Um, and, it's, and it's a strange world because the ostentatious religiosity of Mrs. Pelosi yes. is at odds with the sheer insanity of what her party is proposing. Um, you, you, the party has actually changed a lot, Tucker, in the last couple of election cycles. You know the way it used to be. People like John Kerry would, would twist themselves like a pretzel to explain how personally, passionately, passionately, personally opposed to abortion they were, but that they would never let their deeply held personal Catholic faith interfere with their legislative agenda. There's no pretense of that now. She leads a party that's in favor of fourth trimester Mr. Abortion, uh, pregnant men, MS-13 on every corner, a sanctuary nation uh, with uh, lawyers for any six billion people around the planet who want to come here and, uh, and claim uh, the right to live here. Uh, and I think she's doing this, in a sense, uh, to portray Trump as the crazy one, whereas it's their, whereas it's their agenda that is crazy. But why go through the motions? I mean, it's an aggressively secular party, an aggressively anti-Christian party, obviously. As you said, it wasn't always. It, far from it. There were a lot of sincere Christians. Jimmy Carter was a sincere right. Christian, among others. Absolutely. But it is Absolutely. now anti-Christian, yeah. and there's no, let's not lie about it. Why even bother to give us the God talk? Well, I think the God talk is interesting, because, as I say, so much of this stuff like the abolition of the sexes and infanticide is so off the charts that I think they actually want to uh, create a kind of new religion for secularists. Uh, they need to actually cloak this in faith. Interesting. I think, that's, I think you're exactly right.